Real Action Bro Wrestling Report. I am Jeremy Elko. And I am Rupert Von Dering. Let's get back to what happened at Thanksgiving Throwdown. Defeats in Mr. Entertainment, J.D. Smooth in our opening bout on Thanksgiving Throwdown. And Rupert, uh, an exciting matchup we had for the opening match. Yeah, the first uh, match right out of the port. And we had some action. As you can see, um, J.D. Smooth was really working him over. And then Castro, right here as you'll see, gets a little bit of the upper hand after these few chops. He says, chop me? I don't think so. How about chop you? And Smooth getting a little bit cocky, playing up to the crowd and giving him a piece of his mind. And Castro right here, right with a nipple grab, which Ooh. was fantastic, right into the corner. And remember, as he's going here, we're going chop, right around the world. Chop one, corner one, chop two, boom, Ooh. corner two, corner three, J.D. Smooth trying to get away, but Castro right there to say, hey, how you doing? Just sets him right up. Tells the crowd to be quiet Ooh. and gets him one more time. Four corners of the world. Do you think he's going to get it in? I don't know. No. Oh. Ejected. And here we go with this. Nice roll through by Castro into the net breaker. Oh. And that'll do it for the one, one two, two, and three. three. Next bout was the Stevie Edwards Memorial Battle Royal. Tons of action in this one, folks. A lot going on. We had uh, over 20 real action pro wrestling superstars in the ring at one time. One of the first ejections, uh, Levi Masterson. Yep, he was out first. And then Joe Zook would make his way on out. Oh, there goes Blackhawk. Oh, man. Boom. One of the favorites of RAPW and one of the favorites to win the match. Right here, though, we still have Smooth, who right in that opening bout, oh, there he goes, dumps over Spike St. James. Ouch. Now, here's something interesting. Smooth had a ton of eliminations in this matchup, dumps out Kurt Fury right here. That's after just going through a bout before this match. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So, I don't know where he got the second win from, but he did. Tough goes guy. to work on the bouncer. In the corner. Still a lot of energy on this guy. Putting a hurt on Bouncer. Throws Bouncer out of the ring, but uh, the Bouncer puts on the brakes there, not Rupert. Quite. And again, the showmanship, the 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 just pure audacity of JD Smooth here, not knowing. Got him last time a couple of times. You think he'd learn? No, no. Bouncer shot to the gut with the shoulder and dumps over J.D. Smooth. And your winner of the bye bye. first ever Stevie Edwards Memorial Battle Royal, the Bouncer. And couldn't go to a more fitting man. Right? I think so. I think so. Ray Stewart versus Spike St. James in another student versus teacher matchup. Nice head scissors takeover. Very nice. By Spike. And what a matchup this was. A little bit of controversy, as we'll see here in just a moment, Rupert. We're going to get a nice bridge out of Spike. Wow. That was a great move, but not enough. Not enough. Only two. And here we go. Spike going to try to set up Ray. And Ray gets around here. Nope. Boom. Drops him very nicely here, and as you'll see, Spike gets the hand on the rope. Ref didn't see it. Ref I don't know. Does it count? It. Does it count? I don't know. Uh oh, wait a minute. What's this? Ricky Lynn, Commissioner Ricky Lynn, comes out and restarts the matchup. Wasn't going to let it happen. No. Not with that uh, hand on the rope. She sees everything. 
And we got the restart of the match. Nice super kick by Spike. He'll go up for a frog splash. Wow, watch this. Here we go up to the top rope here, going high risk, and I'll hit it for the one, two, three. Bam, wow. And there it is. Spike gets the win at Thanksgiving Throwdown. Great match. Paris Sahara and Bruiser Schmidt with a wild card title matchup and Sahara looking a little rough at the beginning of this matchup here, Rupert. Looks like he's going to be overpowered by Schmidt. Schmidt is a big guy. Yeah, yeah, definitely a size difference and a weight difference. And yeah. a seasoned professional, by the way. He's been around for a while. Yes, he has. And Bruiser definitely taking advantage of of oh. the size and the weight differential there working on the limbs softening them up trying to get maybe a submission out of that uh, at some point he was really yanking on that arm and he was re yeah ranking cranking uh referee asking P paris if if he's gonna give up Paris, the fighter, oh, there we go, a little bit of offense there by Sahara, and it just smacked right back down. Both men down to the, uh, got a count of 10 to get back up, Sahara able to get a little bit of offense here. Oh, he was denied. And dramatically, but denied. dramatically but denied. denied. And again, Whoa! There's that offense we're talking about. And another kick there. Got Bruiser reeling. Nice head scissors. Wow. That's how you go against the big guy. Sends Bruiser reeling into the handspring back elbow. Nicely done by Sahara. Uh-oh. Oh, cut. Tried to go for some more. And now... Bruiser took him back down. Bruiser took him back down. Oh, and Paris now, nice kick, blows him a kiss to say good night. Nice Whoa. bridge into the cover. One, two, and three. Your winner and still wild card champion, Paris Sahara. And our next match. Team Club Extreme versus Team Center and Saints. And Rupert, this was a Survivor Series style matchup. A lot of action in this one. A lot of action, a lot of pain. A lot of big guys. And here we see Kurt Fury uh, getting the head scissors on there. Nice trip up by Kurt Fury and a kick out. Scoops over Fury now, Collins did, and now the standoff. What an exciting exchange that was. Ooh, here comes Blackhawk. RAPW favorite on Blackhawk here. Goes Absolutely. for the tag. Tags in Jeff Meekins, a lead addition to Club Extreme. Nice drop kick by Meekins. Another fan favorite. Fired up and uh, an honor roll inductee this year. And, oh. Here we go. It's the Pierce Six Brawl. Everybody in. What a nuisance this was. Referee lost all control trying to get some sort of semblance. It wasn't happening. How do you sort that out? Look at all these guys. You really don't. You just let it happen. Give it up for Jared Hawkins trying to get some sort of order. That's not going to happen at all with all of these men. I think it's fortunate for him. Some of these guys are like ejected. <laughs> well, we almost have a clean mat now, but. And what? here we go. Kenny Collins sees that there's everybody on the floor here, and he goes sky high. Whoa. Knocks everybody out. Was that a 7-10 split? Nope, that was a strike. <laughs> yeah, I think that all was all 10 pins. Yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> Actually, it was 9 and a spare are going to be coming up here. Oh, Kurt Fury's going to fly Fury. the Indy Innovator. Boom! And now that's a strike. There we go. <laughs> Everybody's down. Start the count. And referee trying to get everybody into the matchup here. Joe Zook now working on Blackhawk. Blackhawk with the reverse. Nice boot. Oh. And now look at this. This is really interesting. Off the ropes and it kind of just does like a little senton there into wow. uh, into the cover. One, two, three. 
Joe Zook then eliminated. That started so, the first of the eliminations. So Blackhawk is done, but whoa, wait a minute. Kenny Collins there gets a uh, Blackhawk off guard. One, two, and three. Blackhawk was eliminated. Wow, just like that. And now we have the end of the matchup here. Nice catch by Jeff Meekins. Oh! Nice float over suplex. He's ready to put a bow on that one. And a nice tag in. Trying to finish off the last of Sinners and Saints. Here comes the Indy Innovator. Floats him over. Nicely done. Swanton Bomb. For cover. the cover. One, two, and three. Your winner, Team Club Extreme. All right. Levi Masterson versus Sean Resnick for the vacated heritage title. Remember, Rupert, uh, Vinny Maverick couldn't make it to Thanksgiving Throwdown. But yet, this is still a great bout. Look at these two big guys going after each other. Definitely battle of the big men here. Nice uh, clothesline by Levi Masterson. Beautiful back elbow as well coming in and, and gets the big man of Resnick down once again. Resnick reeling. But Resnick is not one to be uh, left behind. Suplex City right there. Laid him out. And down goes Masterson. That took him out for a little while there. Both men down. Referee administered that 10 count. Nice cover there. Didn't get it to go. Tried to get. There it is. The Hammer of Dawn. Wait a minute. Oh. There's well, something going on on the side of that ring there. Referee is totally distracted. Both men down, but... There hasn't been a count yet. No, there hasn't. And check it out. Resnick almost into the into the referee. And bam, oh. there's the hammer of Dawn. I guess he wasn't paying enough attention. And there's the three count. Your new heritage champion, Sean Resnick. Main event of the evening was supposed to be... Ray McKenzie versus Thomas Adams. Thomas Adams, a no-show, which brought out Max Alexander and, as you can see, microphone a blazing here at Thanksgiving Throwdown. That's right, but Bray wasn't going to have any a part of that. If, if that was the challenge, he was up for the challenge. And both gentlemen getting ready for combat here. <clears throat> and Bill on the line. Let me tell you, Bray has been, even though the name suggests good vibes, he has been super lasered in and super focused in these last couple of months of Real Action Pro Wrestling. And you needed to be to be up against this guy because he comes in with a lot of energy and a lot of attitude. Nice lock up here by Bray McKenzie. Has him into the ropes and then all hell starting to break loose as Max tries to get outside. And remember, Rupert, after all of that, Bray McKenzie retains, still your Real Action Pro Wrestling Champion. And folks, what a show. A lot of action. And couldn't get any better than that for our anniversary It was show. a great show. Great show. And next, the RAPW Honor Roll. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your 2021 Honor Roll inductees. In the fan club, Lisa K. Fallen Warrior, Patricia Mama Burke. Fallen Warrior, Eli Thomas. Fallen Warrior, Stevie Edwards. Fighting Spirit, Sam Luptak Sr. Honor Roll, Sean Resnick. Honor Roll, Jeff Meekins. Honor Roll, 
Sheikh Abdul Hassan. Honor Roll, Preston Steele. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, your 2021 Honor Roll inductees. Ladies and gentlemen, fans, it is time to take a look at Cold Front happening this Saturday, the 22nd. As we know, Commissioner Ricky Lynn stepped down from her position and a new commissioner will be announced at Cold Front. Who is it? We have no idea, but they will have their hands full come the 22nd. A returning Vinny Maverick will be looking to retake a title that he never lost as he takes on the new Heritage Champion, Sean Resnick. Resnick won the title against Levi Masterson at Thanksgiving Throwdown. Spike St. James will defend the Fight Night Championship against heavy metal Joe Zoot, who usually teams with Kenny Collins. Can Joe claim singles gold? We will find out. Club Extreme will be taking on Black Hawk and Miles Jacobs for a spot in the upcoming Eli Thomas Tag Team Tournament. Will the experience of Club Extreme be what gets them the win, or will the unpredictability of Black Hawk and Jacobs take the win? Kip Page made a plea to Bray McKenzie at Thanksgiving Throwdown, and Bray never gave him an answer. Kip Page returns at Cold Front to see if Bray accepts. Speaking of Bray McKenzie, he will be in action at Cold Front, but against who? We will find out. Natalie May makes her return to Cold Front, but who is she taking on? We will find that out as well. Our last match we're going to talk about is the wild card title. Paris Sahara will take on Kenny Collins. Will the tag team of Zook and Collins have singles gold? Find out Saturday on the 22nd at RAPW Cold Front.